Cadets and midshipmen and 100,000 fans observed the silence of a memorial tribute to the late President Kennedy in vast Philadelphia Stadium. Then the excitement of gridiron action, which the President always enjoyed. And here is quarterback Carl Stitchway, number 16, playing his heart out for Army against favored Navy. From the moment they get possession in the opening quarter, the cadets roll. And the relentless running attack is climaxed with Stitchway himself taking the ball around end for the final yards. Army gets the first score. And then it's Navy's turn. Passing is All-America quarterback Roger Staubach. Johnny Sy takes the pass and the fleet halfback carries for a first down on the 11. Next, a play Staubach makes look so easy. His quarterback draw, taking the ball down to the four-yard line. Then exploding for Navy's TD, fullback Pat Donnelly. They're tied at halftime. Navy scores in the third quarter, and now in the final period, that's Donnelly, 5'11", 200 pounds, going for his third touchdown. The Minis take a 21-7 lead. With less than 10 minutes to play, the quarterbacking of Stitchway fires the cadets and builds new excitement in the big stadium. Stitchway sends Ken Waldrop over right tackle close to the goal line, where Army's field general takes the left flank for the touchdown maneuver. Stitchway also notches a two-point conversion. Then for the kickoff, orders an onside dribbler, and he falls on the ball for Army. Army drives again, and time is the biggest factor. Stitchway, who hasn't been passing much, hits Don Parcells for 11 yards and a first down. Then closer to the goal line, and only seconds left. The stadium is in an uproar. Can Army score? But on fourth down, amid pleas for silence so signals can be heard, time runs out for the gallant Army team. Navy wins 21 to 15, fifth successive victory over Army, and will face Texas in the Cotton Bowl. But the thriller against the cadets will long be remembered.